Welcome to Dish to the Devils, a weekly newscast where we tell you the important facts that you, the school, actually care about and not that boring stuff on the everyday news. I'm Reagan Luck and I'm here with George Perez. So George, what do we have in the news today? Today we will be interviewing Ms. Brack along with discussing the ridiculous long lunch lines that everyone is talking about. But before we get to that, our very own Chapel Hill Devils will be playing at the American Airlines Center, home of the Dallas Mavericks. We'll be playing New Boston on November 23rd from 2 to 4 p.m. The Dallas Mavericks will be playing against the Detroit Pistons at 7 p.m. The tickets are $31 and this includes both games, so be sure to come and support the Chapel Hill Washington Boys. And now we are going live to Katie Espinoza with the Dish of the Devils Teacher of the Week. Thank you, Reagan. This week, our Teacher of the Week was Ms. Henderson. First of all, Ms. Henderson, how do you be, how do you feel about being chosen Teacher of the Week? Surprised, happy, elated. I was very surprised because I won't call y'all hoopers because you know it was, it caught me by surprise. Thank you so much for this opportunity too. You're welcome, Ms. Henderson. Tell yeah. us about your expectations this year. Ooh, I would love for these kids to mature and to be all they could possibly be. And then what the Army says, be all you can be. I just want them to grow up a little bit. I really do. If they can grow up and learn to respect each other, it would be so nice. Whoa, is that a snow belly deli? Yeah, it's open right now. I got mine right here. Oh, I'm on my way to get me one of those. This one right here. Come on, Snow Belly, open up that deli. I'm ready to fill my belly with some peanut butter and jelly. Oh, Snow Belly, open up that deli. I'm ready to fill my belly with some peanut butter and jelly. Oh, Snow Belly, Deli. Snow Belly's Deli is now open. It's sure to have what you're looking for. Stop in today. The Chapel Hill Cross Country teams just had their first warm up meet in Dallas, Texas to begin the season. All 16 members came out hot and finished with impressive results against the other 45 schools, ranging from 1A to 3A. The teams were Leah Schumacher, Megan Merrill, Hannah Lee, and Jordan Whitney on the team that finished 8th. Kim Ledbetter, Hannah Stevens, Jenna Nieto, and Amanda Calvert on the team that finished 15th. The Gas teams were Juan Juarez, Edwin Chavez, Rodrigo Netro, and Wesley Aguilar on the team that finished 10th. Finally, Carlos Juarez, Chase Warren, Alex Nunn, and Luis Chavier finished fourth in the race. Great start to the year, guys. And now for volleyball. The Lady Devils are off to a great start so far for all three teams. The varsity team, coached by Coach Trestle, has a record of 15-8 and eight and have participated in three tournaments. In the Pleasant Grove tournament, they were consolation winners of the gold bracket. At the Gilmer tournament, the team finished second in the gold bracket, barely falling to, the Gil to Gilmer themselves on their home court. And for the Redwater Tournament, they finished first place in the Challengers bracket. District starts September 24th, where they will be fighting for a playoff position. Good luck to the varsity. As for the JV, coached by Coach Carpenter, they are currently 5-2 and two and finished second in the Quitman Tournament a few weeks ago, as well as play second in the Dangerfield Tournament last weekend. They will be participating in the North Lamar Tournament this weekend. Best of luck to them. And for the freshmen.